The Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, in celebration of its 150th anniversary, presents our daily scripture reflection. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verses 5, read by Kayla Doyle of the St. Andrew's Parish of Scarborough, Tobago. Then the Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over its places of assembly a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flame fire by night. Indeed, over all the glory there will be a canopy. The assurance is given to God's people that they will have His holy care and protection once they remain close and faithful to him. In this passage of scripture from Isaiah chapter 4 verse 5, we see that promise of God made to the Israelites as they journeyed out of Egypt. Christ is called the branch of the Lord, being planted by his power and flourishing to his praise. The gospel is the fruit of that branch, all the graces and comforts of the gospel spring forth from Christ. It is called the fruit of the earth because it sprung up and it exists within this world, which was suited for its present state. It will be good evidence that we are distinguished from those merely called Israel if we are brought to see the beauty in Christ and holiness. As a type of this blessed day, Jerusalem should again flourish as a branch and be blessed with the fruits of the earth. We must know that God will protect his church and all that belong to it. A pillar of cloud could not have been seen by night and God changes the symbols of his presence and protection so that at all times his people may see them. God gave to the Israelites a symbol of his presence and protection so that he would be the protector and defender of his people hereafter. Gospel truths and ordinances are the glory of the church. Grace in the soul is the glory of it, and those that have it are kept by the power of God. But only those who are weary will seek rest. Only those who are convinced that a storm is coming will look for shelter. We are affected with a deep sense of the divine displeasure which we are exposed to by sin. And so, let us at once have recourse to Jesus Christ and thankfully accept the refuge he affords to each and every one of us. Brought to you by the Anglican Church of Trinidad and Tobago, celebrating its Triple Jubilee.